What's going on, a stranger? Welcome to another YouTube music production video where my mission is to help you succeed at making music. So we're moving into autumn where we get a little more reflective and even introspective. And it's a good time to work on more deeper music with more emotion. So today we're gonna be working on Feature Garage. So for those that don't know, Feature Garage is an evolution of UK Garage where it takes the foundations of UK Garage and explores it a little further. It's characterized by deeper pads and chords and oftentimes you'll have pitched down R&B vocals, lo-fi elements like vinyl noise and deep rolling bass lines. Burial would be one of the most popular artists that pioneered this sound. Other producers include Solitude and Sorrel. Notice the names if you catch a drift. But comment down below and let us know of any other feature garage artists. And today we're gonna to do a remix competition. I'm gonna give you guys the stems. If you check it in the Discord community, you can download it there. And we're just gonna put it out there and see what you guys can do with the stems. And also thank you guys for helping me hit 20,000 subscribers. As I promised, we will be doing a live stream where I'm gonna be doing some sound design. So stay posted. I'm gonna be announcing the date and time for the live stream soon. So without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, as usual, let's start off with the beat, which is the foundation of our track. Now with Future Garage, it takes off where UK Garage left off and explores different rhythms and positions for your kicks and snares. So we just have a basic one note kick here. Now for the snare, I just have one snare here on the half time position. If I were using regular time, I would have two snares like this. But since we're doing half time, we just have one snare like this. And half time is actually a rhythm that's used a lot in future garage. Well, I'll show you other patterns for the snare momentarily but let's just work with the half time position. And then with the hi-hats, we selected a number of different hi-hats that we're gonna use to really add some groove and syncopation to the rhythm. So first and foremost, we have a closed and open hi-hat. And we're just gonna be using a regular closed and open hi-hat pattern, just like in house music. So like that. And then we're gonna add some ghost notes with a different hi-hat to add a little more groove. Now in my previous UK Garage video, I showed you how to add a little more funk and groove by using some of the built-in groove profiles in Ableton. Now another way to make really funky ghost hits is by using the triplet notes. So enable the triplet mode. And we're simply gonna add a ghost note before each hit from here. Like that. Now feel free to explore. You can remove some of the hits or you can add some additional hits. I just found this groove to work really nice for our beat today. So let's hear it all together. And then I'm gonna add an additional open hi-hat right over here. It just adds a little more groove when it slides into that clap. Like that adds a nice groove and you have a nice little open hi-hat that slides into that clap. Let's duplicate this loop. Now I have this little shaker here. Now we can interchange between the shaker and the little accented hi-hat so we can move this ghost note up here. And perhaps we can move this one here just so we have a little bit of variation through the groove. Notice how that makes our beat a little more interesting. Now this step is optional. However, you could group your drums together and then add some bit reduction. And I'm using the Samplex plugin, which I've used in previous videos, which emulates some of the older samplers for that lo-fi sound. It adds just a little more grit to that beat, which is especially nice for Feature Garage, which plays on more of that lo-fi sound. Now going back into that snare, let's explore other positions. As I mentioned in Feature Garage, we explore different patterns, sometimes more offbeat patterns. So let's put the snare over here. So that's nice. 
sometimes over here or over here. Likewise, you can explore the different kicks. You can add an additional kick. You can try a more dance hall vibe. So lots of different patterns and positions so that you can explore a future garage and I encourage you guys to do that. Now, another thing you can explore with the snare is moving it off the beat a little so it's a bit more loose and lazy and it adds a little more groove to the beat. So you can move the snare over like that. So that makes it a little more groovy, a little more human. All right, so that's the beat for our future Garage track. So now let's look for a sample or vocal to play with. So here's the vocal sample I'm working with. It's found on a splice pack called Room Keys 4AM Future R&B. You gotta feel it on in there. You gotta feel it and die. You gotta feel it to on in so what I've done is I'm taking the vocal, I've chopped up little bits and pieces that I don't want to use, and I'm pitching the vocal down by 10 semitones, and I'm using Complex Pro and bringing the format down to 20, so it sounds like that kind of deep house, kind of pitched down vocal style. And then I'm using Nectar 3, which is a vocal plugin, which applies a chain of different effects from applying EQ and compression to really bring out that vocal. And then I'm boosting some of those higher frequencies so it sounds a little more whispery. And then I'm adding some echo and some reverb to really make that vocal sound more spacious. Now let's use Mixed and Key to Studio Edition to detect the key of our vocal. It says the key could be either a D flat minor or an A flat minor, so we can experiment with that. And since we've cut up this vocal, I'm just going to consolidate it into a new clip. Now we can bring it back into the session view. Now let's add some sounds on top. Now I'm using Mass Effects to play some chords. Now I found a nice pad sound in one of the packs that Native Instruments put out recently. So they have three packs for Massive X. There's one called Scene, there's Rush, and there's Pulse. And I found this Deep Ocean preset in the Rush pack. So simply so we know that the scale is D flat minor. D flat is the same as C sharp. So I'm just playing that C sharp minor triad here. And then I'm just going to simply add an additional chord for a little more vibe. So I'm going to build a chord here. And let's mute this bottom note here. It just tells that kind of like moody, kind of um, melodramatic story a little more with that note muted. And now I'm using Arteria's Prophet 5 for a stab sound. And I'm going to be building a rhythm using that dotted eighth note. So like that. And then we're going to build a fifth on top of that C sharp. So that would be up here. Now let's change up some of the notes for variation. Okay, so I'm liking that rhythm and vibe from those chords. And then I have Arterius Pigments. I'm going to be playing some chimes off it. 
just to give it more of that celestial space vibe. So once again, I have that minor triad here and now we're gonna move the notes around to build a melody. So let's move this one here. And just bring this note down here. So we have that melodramatic ba 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 ba, which is a nice little touch. So let's hear all the musical elements together. And then I grouped all the musical elements together in a boss. I'm adding this reactor effects called VHS. Now this is for free and I'll leave a link down below so you can grab it. But I really love using this little effect. It emulates an old VH tape. So it gives you that lo-fi gritty warm sound. It adds a nice touch, especially if you want that lo-fi sound. This is a great effect. It just adds a little bit of warmth and saturation and also adds that VHS buzz or that lo-fi buzz or hum to make it sound a little more lo-fi. Now for some additional lo-fi, I've added some vinyl noise, which is a popular sound to use in future garage. Now I'm using an EQ and high passing all those low frequencies all the way up to around 3000 Hertz. Because all we want is that high end fizzle. And then I'm side chain compressing it against the kick so we get a little pumping so this is a little more rhythmic. Let's hear it all together with the vocal and beat. <laughs> All right, it's really coming together now. That really deep vibe is coming through and now all we need is some bass. I'm using the deep liquid rolling bass I've taught you guys in a previous video. So if you want to learn how to make this bass, then check out that video. I'm just playing a couple notes on that scale. So here it is. Notice that additional accent note at the end to give it a little more vibe and variation. So let's hear it all together with all the elements. All right, so I pulled the song into an arrangement view to do a little quick little arrangement. Now I made an edit on a snare pattern. I've made it a two bar pattern. I'm moving the second snare to an offbeat over here for a little more groove and variation. And then I have a four bar intro here and then the vocal comes in after eight bars. So let's check it out.
listen, we have the foundations for a really deep and nice sounding future garish tune and definitely can add a little more sounds to develop it, but the main groove and vibe is there. All right, so that was my take on Future Garage. And notice these sounds that I'm using. I'm using deeper chords, rolling bass lines, adding that pitch down R&B vocal, and using lo-fi textures such as vinyl noise to really create some grit and depth to your music. So the sound palette is a little different from UK Garage, but what they do have in common is that syncopated rhythm. So I encourage you guys to explore this genre. It's a really fun genre to play with. I think you guys will have a lot of fun with it. And make sure to join the Discord community where you can meet fellow like-minded producers, share your tracks, and get feedback. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and share buttons. And that's pretty much it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Keep practicing. I'll see you at the next video. By the way, if you want to support me, you can grab my jungle production kit. Also, my liquid production kit just came out and you can all grab it down on the link below.